On to news from the United States now. Over a month after the riots which rocked the U.S. Capitol Hill, the U.S. Congress held a series of congressional hearings this week to understand what actually happened on January 6th. The acting chief of the U.S. Capitol Police testifying before Congress said that while the agency had taken action based on intelligence, the reports failed to predict the scope of the attack. She said that the intelligence received did not specify that thousands of regular American citizens would attack the Capitol. There's evidence that some of those who stormed the Capitol were organized. But there's also evidence that a large number were everyday Americans who took on a mob mentality because they were angry and desperate. It is the conduct of this latter group that the department was not prepared for. The department did face some operational challenges that we are addressing. We are addressing those operational challenges but I want to make clear that these measures alone would not have stopped the threat we faced. To stop a mob of tens of thousands requires more than a police force. It requires physical infrastructure or a regiment of soldiers. Pittman in her testimony also admitted that there were several shortcomings in the U.S. Capitol Police response. The lockdown of the building was not properly executed and officers were unsure when to use lethal force. Pittman's hearing was one of many as U.S. lawmakers begin to investigate the attack and the government's failure to respond in real time. And we were earlier joined by our correspondent Kate Fisher. For more on this, let's listen into what she had to say. All of these uh, law enforcement officers who've been giving evidence on Capitol Hill have said the same thing, that no one could have predicted the number of people who came and the level of planning uh, and the intent that they had when they arrived in Washington on January the 6th. Uh, some of the questions that lawmakers have had for them is, well, hang on, there was intelligence that suggested that people were coming armed and ready for, uh, in quotes, war. Uh, but these law enforcement leaders saying that that was raw intelligence, uh, it was not given to them as kind of this is definitely going to happen. You need to prepare for it. And some of them also saying not not to today's uh, today's police chief, but other law enforcement officers saying that they never actually received those in that information. It didn't go far enough up the leadership chain. Um, so, yeah, th there was certainly um, uh, one thing they can all agree on is that they were not expecting what happened on January the 6th. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.